Welcome back into the world of cross-dressing stories. Now, please consider subscribing and check out my Patreon for more exclusive goodies. In the hush of early evening, the streets of the small conservative town of Elmswood lay quiet, its conservative pulse beating slowly, casting long shadows into the lives of those who dared to differ from the norm. Jamie, a 25-year-old bookstore clerk, found himself staring out from behind the counter of Elmswood Reads, his sanctuary among the stacks of books. The smell of old paper was comforting, familiar, yet it did little to ease the heaviness in his chest. A heaviness wrought from years of hiding his true self. His home was his only respite, where Jamie shed his day-to-day -day guise and became Jasmine. Within those four walls, he explored the breadth of his identity, his expression confined to the soft caress of silk and the vibrant splash of makeup that reflected his inner vibrance. Outside, the town's rigid expectations loomed large, a constant reminder of what he had to lose. It was on a particularly quiet Tuesday when the monotony was broken by the slip of an envelope between the pages of a return novel. It was ornate, the kind of invitation that one didn't expect to find in Elmswood. The gold script shimmered under the store's fluorescent lights, reading, Unveil Your Hidden Self, an invitation to a masquerade ball in the bustling city nearby. The theme was not just an encouragement, but a bold challenge to all who read it. The prospect stirred something deep within Jamie. The ball was a chance to be Jasmine, not just in solitude, but in a swirl of colors and faces, to live out loud in a way that Elmswood would never allow. The city, vibrant and diverse, promised anonymity and acceptance, and for the first time in his life, Jamie felt the stirrings of a daring thought. To attend, not as Jamie, but as Jasmine. That night, in the quiet of his apartment, Jamie stood before his mirror, the invitation in one hand and a lipstick in the other. The reflection that stared back was caught between two worlds. Here was Jamie, his features soft under the harsh light, and there, in the depths of his eyes, was Jasmine, waiting for a night that could unveil her to the world. He traced the outline of his lips with the lipstick, a deep, bold red that he had never dared to wear outside. Each stroke was a whisper of possibility, each glance a rehearsal for the night of the ball. With each brush of makeup, the image of Jasmine grew stronger, more defined, and the walls of his room stretched wider, embracing her fully. The decision settled in his heart with a weighty resolve as he placed the invitation on his dresser, like a beacon calling him to a life where he did not have to hide. The masquerade ball was not just an event. It was the gateway to a world where Jasmine could exist beyond the confines of whispered dreams. As the night deepened, Jamie practiced walking in his heels, each step a defiant stomp against the silent judgments of Elmswood. He imagined the ballroom, the rustle of his gown, the murmur of voices as he moved, unchained and beautiful. The thought was both terrifying and exhilarating. This was his moment, a chance to step into the light, to live as Jasmine among the masked revelers. The mask would hide his identity, but not his truth. For the first time, Jamie felt a surge of hope, a thrill that perhaps in the guise of night and behind the mask of another persona, Jasmine could finally breathe free, if only for an evening. The days leading up to the masquerade ball were a whirlwind of preparation and nerves. Jamie, in his apartment-turned-sanctuary, surrounded by swathes of fabric and cosmetics, dove into the task of becoming Jasmine. He sifted through an array of dresses, each with its promise of elegance, finally settling on a flowing gown of midnight blue that shimmered subtly under the light. It was more than attire. It was armor, crafted to shield yet reveal the person he longed to express. Jasmine practiced her makeup with a meticulous hand, each stroke of the brush a stroke of confidence. She tested the resilience of her disguise, bending and turning, ensuring the dress flowed just so and the seams held tight. She rehearsed her smile, her walk, her poise, all the while battling the butterflies that threatened to unnerve her. Excitement tinged with fear, a cocktail of emotions that fueled her resolve. The night of the ball arrived, cloaked in the promise of liberation. Jasmine entered the grand venue, her heels clicking authoritatively against the marble floor, her heart drumming a rapid rhythm in her chest. The ballroom was a canvas of colors and movements, with guests adorned in elaborate masks and costumes, each person a vivid echo of their inner selves. The air was electric with anonymity and allure. Jasmine moved through the crowd, 
her senses heightened, absorbing the swirl of laughter, the snippets of conversation, the admiring glances that traced her silhouette. The freedom was intoxicating. For the first time, Jasmine was not just a reflection in a mirror, but a living, breathing presence among others who celebrated the unseen and unspoken parts of themselves. Yet, navigating this new world was not without its challenges. The breadth of the room felt overwhelming at times, the eyes behind the masks inscrutably intense. Jasmine found herself retreating occasionally to the edges of the ballroom, taking measured breaths, reminding herself that here she was meant to be seen, meant to be bold. It was during one such moment of retreat that she met Alex. He approached with a tentative smile, his costume less elaborate than others, but carried with an air of quiet confidence. I couldn't help but notice you from across the room, he said, his voice warm and inviting. You wear confidence well. Jasmine's initial shock at being approached gave way to a flutter of pleased surprise. Alex's demeanor was disarming, and soon they found themselves in a tucked away corner, engaged in conversation. As the night deepened, Jasmine found herself sharing fragments of her life her dual existence, her fears, her dreams. It was a confession wrapped in the safety of the ball's anonymity, her words floating between them like delicate threads weaving a tapestry of understanding. Alex listened with a kind of intensity that felt like validation. He shared his own stories, his own vulnerabilities, which were different yet resonant with the theme of hidden selves. The connection was unexpected and profound, grounding Jasmine in a way that the vibrant chaos of the ball could not. They spent hours talking, the noise of the ball a distant murmur to their shared confidences. Jasmine felt a kinship grow, a seed of something new and thrilling. In Alex's company, she experienced not just the freedom of expression, but the deeper joy of being understood. The night, magical and fleeting, passed in a blur of music and laughter, but the connection with Alex remained vivid, a beacon of what might be possible beyond the confines of a masked ball. As the evening drew to a close, Jasmine felt a mix of satisfaction and longing. The night had offered a glimpse of freedom, and now, more than ever, she hungered for it to be her everyday reality. As the masquerade ball approached its zenith, the music swelled and the laughter grew louder, yet a silent tension brewed beneath the surface for Jasmine. The initial thrill of anonymity and freedom began to wane as she noticed Alex's gaze lingering, not just in admiration, but with a burgeoning curiosity that seemed to pierce through her carefully constructed facade. His questions grew subtly probing, touching on her life beyond the ball, hinting at a desire to see beyond the mask. Jasmine's heart raced with conflicting emotions. Each question from Alex felt like a gentle pull at the seams of her reality, unraveling threads she had woven tightly around her identity. The fear of what might happen if her truth was fully revealed battled with the yearning to be known and accepted for who she truly was. As the night draped its cloak around the ball, the pressure of her secret mounted, making each breath feel heavier, each smile more strained. Finally, amid the crescendo of a particularly haunting piece of music, Jasmine found herself at a crossroads. Alex's kind eyes met hers, and in that moment, she made a decision born of both desperation and hope. There's something I need to tell you, she whispered, her voice a fragile thread in the opulent tapestry of the ball. They stepped into a secluded balcony, the cool night air a sharp contrast to the warmth of the dance floor. The stars above bore silent witness as Jasmine took a deep breath, the city lights casting shadows that danced around them. I am not who you think I am, or I am more than what you see, she began, her words tumbling out in a nervous rush. She told Alex about Jamie, about the duality of her life, about the masks she wore not just tonight but every day. Each word lifted a weight off her shoulders, each sentence a step towards her truth. Alex listened, his expression unreadable at first, then softening into something that looked like understanding, then acceptance. When Jasmine finished, the silence between them stretched, filled with possibilities and fears. Then Alex spoke, his voice steady and sure. Thank you for trusting me with your truth, Jasmine, or should I say Jamie, whichever you prefer tonight, he said with a gentle smile. I admire your courage, not just to come here tonight as Jasmine, but to share your true self with me. It's more than just bravery, it's honesty in its purest form. 
Relief washed over Jasmine like a gentle wave, soothing the tumult of emotions she had felt. Alex's acceptance was a balm, healing parts of her she hadn't realized were wounded by years of hiding. They talked about what the future could hold, discussing dreams and possibilities now that Jasmine didn't feel quite so compelled to hide. Alex expressed his support, promising to be there for her, whether she chose to step out into the world as Jasmine or integrate her dual identities in whatever way felt right. The resolution of the night came not with a dramatic flourish, but with a quiet understanding, a shared vision of a future where Jasmine could exist freely without the constant shadow of secrecy. As they returned to the ball, Jasmine felt lighter, the mask on her face no longer a shield, but a simple accessory to the beautiful reality of her existence. The night had brought revelation and acceptance, and as the final song played, Jasmine danced with Alex, not as a character in a costume, but as a person, finally at peace with her world. The drive back to Elmswood was a journey through a fog of emotions for Jamie. The lights of the city faded in the rearview mirror, each mile taking him further from the magical reality of the ball and closer to the muted tones of his everyday life. As he crossed the threshold of his small apartment, the walls seemed to close in, reminders of the confinement he had momentarily escaped. The contrast was stark. The vibrancy of Jasmine at the ball clashed with the subdued existence of Jamie in his hometown. The freedom he had tasted was intoxicating, and the return to normalcy was jarring. Jamie spent the following days in a reflective state, the echoes of the ball ringing in his ears. The conversations with Alex, the acceptance he'd felt, and the exhilaration of being Jasmine without restraint had irrevocably altered him. Hiding behind the familiar facade of Jamie became more challenging, the mask he wore daily becoming increasingly cumbersome and constrictive. Inspired by Alex's unwavering support and the connection they continued to foster through calls and messages, Jamie made a decision that felt both daring and essential. He began to lay the groundwork for a local support group for cross-dressers and transgender individuals in Elmswood. He reached out discreetly to others he suspected felt, as he did, using social media and anonymous forums to gather a small, like-minded community under the guise of mutual support and understanding. The process was slow, fraught with the same fears and uncertainties Jamie had long harbored. Yet each step forward was a step out of the shadows. As he organized meetings, shared resources, and fostered discussions, Jamie began to integrate Jasmine more openly into his daily life. He started with small gestures, subtler elements of Jasmine's style in Jamie's daily wardrobe, a gentle blending of his dual identities that felt both liberating and authentic. The culmination of his efforts was the decision to host a masquerade ball similar to the one that had changed his life, right in the heart of Elmswood. It was a bold move, a public declaration of the hidden diversity within the conservative town. Jamie, increasingly known as Jasmine, worked tirelessly to create a space where others could unveil their hidden selves safely and joyfully. The night of the event arrived, bathed in the soft glow of fairy lights strung across the rented hall. Guests arrived, tentative at first, then gradually more confident as they realized they were among peers, among friends. Jasmine was everywhere, greeting guests, her laughter ringing clear, her attire a dazzling blend of Jamie's approachability and Jasmine's flair. As Jasmine stood at the front of the hall welcoming the masked revelers, she felt a profound sense of community and purpose. The ballroom, filled with color and light, buzzed with the energy of liberation and acceptance. Here in this small conservative town, a transformation was underway, not just for Jamie or Jasmine, but for a community that had long dwelled in silence. The story closed on a high note, with Jasmine at the center of a dance floor filled with people celebrating not just their hidden selves, but the very act of revelation. In that moment, Jamie was more than a bookstore clerk. He was a beacon of change, a symbol of hope. Jasmine's laughter mingled with the music, a sweet sound of victory over the shadows, a testament to the beauty of being truly seen.